Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use um, all the difference between flat and hierarchical schematics and then how to place picture hierarchies on your hierarchical blocks. So um, if you've got a flat schematic, you already have one level of schematic folder. You will have pages in between that um, or multiple pages in that schematic folder. And then you can link those pages together uh, for nets crossing it using something like an off-page connector. So um, if we were to add a net, so let's go and just draw a wire. Uh, we'll just zoom in here and maybe just draw a wire. We'll use the F4 key just to make a repeat line. Um, we'll go and play some off-page connectors. Um, off-page left and we'll just click OK to that. And just add some off-page connectors. We'll just do four of those for now. Let's just call these um, A, B, C, and D that would effectively give me those locations so if I wanted those to work on another page we can literally just do a let's go and right click copy we'll go to page two and we'll do a paste and then now obviously from a connection point of view the net names have continued so if I was to, to design sync this I'd have a connection between page one and page two um, from a hierarchical point of view you would add a new schematic folder so you could do a new schematic effectively and then what you would need to do is add the hierarchical block at the higher level to then effectively link the two together so what we'll do is we'll do a new page here just call it page three um, and then once we're on the page we can then go place hierarchical block um, give it a reference so maybe memory one the implementation type is tied into the schematic view because we've got schematic views here and then the implementation name it would be the schematic name of the schematic folder so in this example I've only got one called HS RAM but if you had multiple folders here, you would see all the different folders here. So we'll pick that name there. You can, um, if you want this to be external, so if it's not going to be part of this project window or this design or project file, you might not have the folder here. You can actually have a path and file name out to an external DSM file and work for it that way. So maybe if you want a library of things like memory, power supply, etc., you can do that. Um, the only thing to, to take note with that really is that um, this is a hard-coded path and file name, so it would have the drive letter or the name of the server, etc. So if your IT department do actually change the name of those things regularly, I would probably copy the folder in and do it that way. Okay. Once that's done, we'll click OK, and then my mouse will change, and I can then go and draw the blocks that I want. And then, effectively, I get the ports that are in those levels. So if we just double-click to descend, you can see I've got the memory port there. Um, we'll just go to next page. And then there's some of the other ones there as well. Okay, so there's my other ports. Um, so we'll just ascend hierarchy, right click ascend hierarchy, that will take me back to this level. And I can then just drag the ports around wherever I want to put them um, from a design point of view. And I'm good to go. Now some people want to make these um, a bit more representative of their graphics. So what I can do is I can effectively select the part and do a right click edit part or the hierarchical block. This opens the hierarchical block. I can then use the place picture command. Let's go and look for some JPEG files. Um, I don't know, let's just pick the DDR3 and then that gives me my, my DDR3 picture. Once I've got it there, I can then go and resize it to fit my block. Happy with that. I then effectively just close the window and save it. And then that then ties it directly into my hierarchical block here. So I've got my ports that I can then go and move around and do whatever I need to do. Okay. I can also uh, copy these. So let's do a, a control C and a control V. I've now effectively made this what they class as a complex hierarchy. So if I was to descend into these um, effectively and look at the properties of this part, effectively this is what they class as the instance properties. If we expand this out, these are the two um, occurrence properties. So this would be for, for effectively for, for memory one. This would be for the block memory two. So you can have an annotation from that point of view when you're doing the, the complex hierarchy. You'd also find if I double click to open a page here, I get a choice of either memory one or memory two, which ties into effectively the name of the hierarchical block that we added.